Hello. Good morning, Mary Manning. How are you? Good. I see you're missing two front teeth. <laughs> yeah. Did you lose your teeth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, today we're going to talk about God's promises. And you know what you need to know about God's promises? Yeah. God does not break promises, even when it sounds ridiculous. Even when he tells old people that they're going to have a baby. Isn't that kind of funny? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's listen, okay? Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. What color is the story? Purple. 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 Hmm. Why is it purple, you think? Lent. That's right. And today is our second Sunday of Lent. How's Lent going for you, May May? Good. Good. Do you remember what you took on? What'd you take on for Lent? Making my bed. Is it going okay? Mm -hmm. Have you taken that good habit every day? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what I gave? I gave something up, and I've been wearing this bracelet so that I remember, right? You gave up sweets. I did. I want sweets. And it's been hard. Why has it been hard? We went to Di's the other night, and what did Di have for dessert? Strawberry, Strawberry. Shortcake. shortcake. And I looked at my, my, my bracelet, and I thought about the 40 days and 40 nights that Jesus didn't eat anything. And do you know what? I abstained. Did I eat any of that strawberry shortcake? Nope. Nope. All right. Well, today we have a great story about a man named Abraham. Can you say Abraham? Abraham. Right. And if you look at this picture, does Abraham look like a young man to you? Yeah. Does he? Look at his hair. No, he does not. What color is his hair? White. White. So do you think Abraham was young or do you think Abraham was old? Old. All right. Let's see what this story is about. God's promises to Abraham. God came to Abraham and made a promise. Abraham, you are very special to me. I will take care of you and give you lots of children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Now, is that suspicious to you? Because because does Abraham look like, like a dad, like daddy? No. He looks like what? A grandfather. He looks more like a grandfather, doesn't he? He looks like my like my day day and my papa. That's right. But Abraham asked God many times, are you sure? I don't have any children yet. So he had lived this long life and he had not yet had children. God thought Abraham needed something more to help him understand. So God took Abraham outside and showed him the night sky. Your family will include as many people as there are stars in the sky. Are there a lot of stars in the sky? There's like one million. There are so many stars in the sky, God told Abraham. Abraham stared up at all those stars. He couldn't begin to count all those twinkling lights. Stars and stars all around him. Abraham looked up at the stars and saw God at work. Abraham believed God. That's a pretty unbelievable, unbelievable story, don't you think? Mm -hmm. So, can you believe that he had as many children and grandchildren as stars in the sky? I cannot believe that. Well, think about all the people on earth now. Are there lots and lots of people on the earth? Like one million. There are so many people on the earth. And so today we're going to talk about families and grandchildren and children and great grandparents. And we're going to do a special activity that has to do with that. Do you want to do it? Mm hmm. All right, let's go get our stuff. Okay, so I have a huge poster board because we're going to make a family tree. And a family tree is neat because it starts, think about a tree outside. It starts narrow, right? And what yeah. happens to a tree as it goes up? It it grows and grows and grows. And it gets bigger this way. And that's what's going to happen to our tree. Are you ready to see it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to just do the kind of the outline of a tree. 
and then I hope all this fits. Now, you can do your family tree however you want. You can draw names, you can do um, pictures. Okay, well wait, here. <laughs> Come over this way and start drawing this way. All right, so we're gonna start with the base of our tree, which would be- The kids. The kids, May May and Fella. <laughs> Okay, so they're at the bottom of the tree. Hey, we forgot one of them. And we're going to put them just like this, May May and Fella. Now, who are May May and Fella's parents? You and, you and my daddy. All right, so Mama is going to go here and Daddy's going to go here. Now, our tree looks, does it look the same size right now? It, no. I mean, it's not going out too much. No. But Mama has, how many parents do I have? Um, Two. I have two parents, and then how many parents does Daddy have? Two parents. Daddy has two parents. Is our tree getting bigger? Yes. Sure is. All right, now this is where it gets even bigger. Well, wait, Mimi, hold on. Let's make our tree, and then we'll decorate our tree, okay? <laughs> All right, so guess how many parents Day has? How had. many? How many d parents Day had? Two. Two. Snooks and Granddaddy were his parents. Guess how many parents Di had? Two. Two. Where are they? Ugh. Okay, Di. So Day had my grandparents on my dad's side were Snooks and Granddaddy, and Di had Jenna and Marion. And then Honey, Daddy's okay. grandmother, had <laughs> Nana and Big Pop, and Papa had Big Mama and Pop. Now, what are we thinking about our tree? It's huge. Just from May May and Fella, look at all of these people. And so while we think of the idea of stars in the sky to be so just unbelievable and huge, when you look at your family tree and how the branches go off, you see all the different people in your life and how they impact one another, right? Mm -hmm. Are all these people special to us? Yes. And even the ones we haven't met, like Mary Manning did not ever meet my grandmother Snooks. But because of Snooks, I learned about fun card games like Old Maid and how to cook really well. Mm -hmm. And so I get to cook with you now. Mm -hmm. So all these people in, these, in this family tree have passed on many memories to us and many wonderful things. Just like I'm sure Abraham did with his kids and then his grandkids and then his great grandkids, right? <laughs> yeah. It's always fun to learn new things about your family. So I hope you have fun making a family tree at your house. Bye guys. Mommy, can we put Mary Manning, is this your family tree? Yep. That sure is a big family. I don't know. You know what? The family of God is even bigger than that. I know. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It does. And you know what? When we are baptized, we enter into that family of God and we make promises to each other that we're going to take care of each other and support each other in our life of faith. And so, when you look out, you have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of family that is supporting you because we're all members of God's family. Isn't that kind of cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, this week, let's give thanks and make note of all the people in God's family that support us. Okay? Okay. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.